This is a time-lapse video of the real-time reduction of ammonia and ammonium using Seachem Prime. The purpose of this demonstration is to illustrate the effects of sulfur-based dechlorination and detoxification chemicals like Seachem Prime have on both ammonia and ammonium independently. A short slide presentation explains the process and is followed by the actual video of the entire reduction of ammonia and ammonium by Prime. The process took several hours, but the video is accelerated for brevity. This brief video will display three identical five milliliter test vials of fresh water with two parts per million of ammonia in each. The only difference among the three is the pH. The left vial has a pH of 11, the center vial has a pH of 8, and the right vial has a pH of 6. The left and right vials additionally have Seachem Prime's emergency dose, and the center vial has none, so to act as a control. Ammonia and ammonium almost always exist simultaneously. The ratio of both depends on the pH of the water. So you can see on this chart that the lower the pH, the higher the ammonium content, and the higher the pH, the higher the ammonia content. The pH of the water was adjusted to isolate the ammonia from the ammonium. Ammonia converts into ammonium as the pH is lowered. Specifically, here's what was found. At a pH of 11, the ammonia to ammonium content is about 98% to 2%. At a pH of 8, the ammonia to ammonium content is about 10% to 90%. At a pH of 6, the ammonia to ammonium content is 0% to 100%. The specifications are as follows. Left vial, total ammonia is two parts per million, pH 11, NH3 98%, NH4 2%, and treated with a dose of prime ED. The center vial, total ammonia, is two parts per million, pH equals eight, NH3 is 10%, NH4 is 90%, and it has no treatment. The right vial, total ammonia, two parts per million, pH equals 6, NH3 is 0%, NH4 is 100%, and that's treated with a dose of prime ED. Prime binds to ammonia and reduces it to an ammonium salt. Prime has less attraction to ammonium, as seen in the right vial, as it's already bound and therefore requires more time and or energy to complete that reduction. The following video demonstrates in real time Prime's ED effects on both the two parts per million of ammonia on the left and the two parts per million of ammonium on the right. The left and right vials have slightly more fluid than the center control vial. This is merely due to the addition of the Prime. The time period for this experiment was 180 minutes. The video is accelerated 180 times to reduce the viewing time to one minute. Immediately following this slide, carefully observe the left ammonia vial. Notice how gases begin to forcibly escape and cause some leakage. This indicates that Prime not only converted the ammonia to an ammonium salt, it continues to reduce the ammonium salt into its gaseous components, nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur dioxide, and water.
sulfate creation and decomposition. Done. The ammonium salt created when prime reacts with ammonia or ammonium is in the ammonium sulfate family. The slight color change in the ammonium vial on the right indicates that this final reaction has begun. Ammonia reduction test minute one. Sulfates are zero parts per million. And ammonia reduction test minute 180, the sulfates are approximately 250 parts per million. The vials treated with prime now test positive for sulfates. The ammonia and ammonium have now been converted to ammonium sulfate salts. Given enough time, prime will further reduce the resultant ammonia salt to its raw components of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen, and hydrogen gases, plus water. In the three vials, by hour three, no ammonia exists. However, as indicated by the color change, the reduction of the, the ammonium has begun, although it is incomplete. The reason the reduction of ammonium requires more time is that the ammonium is far less chemically reactive than ammonia, so it requires more time or energy to complete. Now we're looking at ammonium hour three and ammonium hour seven. Eventually, the ammonium was fully reduced. While ammonia required three hours for full reduction, ammonium required seven hours for the same degree of reduction. A winemaker's sulfite test also detects sulfur dioxide gas. With this final reaction in play, the ammonia, ammonium, and sulfates are reduced to gases which slowly escape the solution. The prime treated vials now both test positive for sulfur dioxide gas. As shown in the previous video, prime removed 100% of the ammonia in about three hours time. These findings were in approximate agreement with the data in the 1987 Kuhn's patent for Amquel that we charted for the article, A Brief History of Prime where it was shown that the chemical in Amquel removed the chlorine portion of the chloramine in the water quickly, but it took hours to remove the ammonia portion. The Kuhn's chart follows. This chart was created based on data from the 1987 Kuhn patent awarded to Amquel. The chlorine reaction is circled in red, the ammonia reaction in green. Using chemicals related to those in prime, Kuhn's found that the ammonia portion of chloramine reduction required about 20 times the amount of time to be reduced as the chlorine portion. There still remains some ambiguity insofar as the reductive nature of prime affecting the test's dyes themselves, thereby distorting the results. This final portion of the video is to confirm that prime did not affect the test's dyes adversely, or at least not enough to distort the test results. The next video shows the resultant ammonia vial from the previous test. That test had indicated that there's no more ammonia present after hour three. What we now needed to verify is if Prime not only reduced the ammonia, but if it had reduced or damaged the test dyes themselves, distorting the results. In the first portion of the next video, we added a fresh dose of the API ammonia test chemicals per the instructions to truly reveal if Prime did, in fact, totally remove the ammonia, or if damaged dyes obscured these results, at least in part. Next, we observe the solution for 15 minutes with fresh dyes added to verify if any ammonia is still present from the original test. The video is accelerated 60 times to display the entire 15 minutes and 15 seconds. As the previous video tested negative for ammonia, even with fresh dyes added, we then added ammonia to verify that the fresh dyes are functioning correctly. The vial quickly turns green, indicating the dyes are functioning normally.
Our final verification test was to repeat the ammonia reduction test without altering the water in any manner. This tests TAN, or total ammonia nitrogen. TAN is the sum of all ammonia and ammonium present. TAN is what typical aquarium ammonia tests display. The test did not see the water alter the pH, and both vials were identical. This was to verify that the chemicals used to alter the pH do not interfere with the test results. Here we have two 5 millimeter vials of fresh water with ammonia added to bring the total NH3 and NH4 to four parts per million. We used the standard freshwater API liquid test kit for this demonstration. The left vial has been treated with 0.05 milliliters of Seachem Prime. The water in these vials has a pH of 8.4 and was kept a consistent 80 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the test. The pH remained a stable 8.4 in both vials throughout the entire procedure without any intervention. The entire reaction required three hours for completion. What follows is an accelerated video of the entire three hour process as Seachem Prime eliminates 100% of the ammonia and ammonium. The video is accelerated 180 times, so you may watch the entire process of the total removal of the ammonia products in only one minute. In summary, prior to treatment, these five identical vials each had four parts per million of ammonia. Prime dosages from zero times to ten times were applied, and these are the results after three hours. In summary, the sulfur formaldehyde-based chemicals in common dechlorinators and detoxifiers, like Prime, are all closely related. Not surprisingly, the byproducts these create in the reduction process are also in the same family. In this test, Prime reduced ammonia to the approximate degree claimed by Seachem. These findings are also in agreement with the data provided by Amquel, Fritz, and Tetra in their published patents on their respective dechlorinators and detoxifiers. <laughs>